Because last night was special. <laughs> La- last night was special. And I don't want to glaze too much, but I guess I'm a glaze. Shout out to Roy Hibbert, y'all. <laughs> W's in chat for Roy Hibbert. A real friend of the pod. It's official now. It's official. He's a friend of the pod. I, I see. I seen someone when I reacted to his top seventy five list in the comment section on the clip say, "Man, yo, <laughs> friend of the pod is hella glazed. It, it ain't glazed now, cause that shit is real. Cause that shit is real." Shout out to Roy Hibbert for um coming on to the pod, man. It, it was definitely a surreal experience. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of my bucket list items in this YouTube shit, specifically in the basketball sphere, was to interview an NBA player. That has been a goal of mine since 2016, is to interview an NBA player. It low-key already happened in, I think, 2017 or 2018. The NBA sent me to a Celtics game. I was able to get, like, 30 seconds of semi ogile But, yo, Chad, I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> Bro, I was shaking. Like, I, I it was... Like, I had, a, I, had a, I had a camera with me. Let's let's say let's say this was my my uh camera, cause mind you, no one was helping me. They literally just sent me to the game. He said, "Yo, bring whatever gear you need and just shoot some fucking content, yo." It was like this. Uh, send me Ojale. Uh, how'd you feel about the game today, man? Uh, like it was bad. It was bad, bro. It was fucking bad. But yesterday to me was the first. Real interview that I got um, with an NBA player. And it also meant a lot, too, because, it, and no disrespect to them, Roy Hibbert is a former All-Star. Roy Hibbert is a, is a familiar name within the NBA sphere. Um, again, no disrespect to Semi Ojale, but Semi Ojale is like a deep cut. Roy Hibbert is like, okay, if you just kept up with the NBA regularly, um, ever since 2012, 2013, you would know who Roy Hibbert is. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it meant a lot that he came on to the podcast. Um, took a chance on the podcast as well. Um, and man, you know, you pat my back, I pat his type shit. Because the only reason he came on, and I asked him like, "Yo, um, well, first let's 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 go back. Let's go back." Um. The main reason he even found out about me was because of this stream. Was because of this stream. Um, I reacted to Roy Hibbert's, one of Roy Hibbert's first videos. And I gave him a social pack of critique. Gave him a social pack of critique. Gave him some tips on what he needs to do to make better videos. How to grow on YouTube, this, that, and the third. He saw the video. He reached out on Instagram and on Twitter. It was on some, y'all would love to pick, pick your brain apart type shit. Um, you know, um, how much should I pay for, uh, you know, a editor, a designer, this, that, and the third, can you point me to the right direction? So I gave him some tips on the back end of things. Um, and he said, yo, you know, if, 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 if I can help you out in any way, let me know. And I told him, yo, I mean, do you do podcasts? And he said, I typically don't, but because you did me a favor, I can, you know, I, I I'll do it for you type shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, shout, shout out to Roy for coming on the podcast. Shout out, shout out to Roy for coming on to the pod. Um, just had a great conversation. And I don't know if y'all caught it. <laughs> Yo, he was with the AOs. <laughs> oh my God, he, he was with the AOs and, and things of that nature. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. Um... You know, it it just felt natural too. It didn't feel too forced. He felt um, it it felt like not not that we've been friends for a long time because obviously that was our first time talking to each other. But it definitely could have been more awkward. It is all is all I'm gonna say, man. And um, this is what I'll say too. I'll pop my shit now. Y'all doubted the pivot. Y'all doubted. My skills! Y'all doubted my vision! <laughs> Talking about, man. P- the pivot to basketball is gonna be the end of the pod, man. Man, this shit whack. 
Man, this shit whack. Why, why, why would you pigeonhole yourself? Why would you do this, that, and the third? Man, I'm not gonna do the gatekeeping shit. But y'all didn't see the vision and I did. Y'all didn't see the vision, but I did. I told y'all it would just make everything easier. And it did. From pod to pod, from a branding perspective, what to clip up, what not, which guests to reach out to, which ones not to, shit has been smooth ever since. And from a viewer perspective, I feel like a lot of y'all have enjoyed it. I feel like a lot of y'all have enjoyed it. Everyone thought that my vision was just to talk about basketball the whole time. And let me clarify it again, that was never the vision. That was never the vision. The vision was to just fix the branding of the pod so that we can fix the branding of the pod and keep it pushing and grow, but we can still talk about basketball and the fuck shit. If y'all have been tuning in to the last three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight podcasts, that's been that. We've just been chilling. We've just been fighting. We'll, we'll get the basketball out of the way because we need some clips. We'll get the basketball out of the way because we want to we wanna attend to our core fan base. We can do the fuck shit like we usually do, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> people said, people said, call out Omar. Nah, I, I think looking back, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he actually didn't fuck with the movement, the movement. But after that first podcast, I, I definitely commend Omar for um, not being petty. Cause hey, I said, I said on the pod, bro. I'm like, bro. Yeah, we had private conversations. Omar got the raid that night, and I was like, yo, if Omar's going to do this petty shit for the rest of the month, for the rest of these 60 days, we can go back to gay son, thought daughter. Like, <laughs> like yo, I'm <laughs> I'm not doing this, but after after the first pot and a half, maybe two, um... I, you know, I, I think you really embraced the the pivot and the vision, and I think it's worked out for the better. Numbers are better, revenue is up, subs is up. You know what I'm saying? Views are up. Psst, stop doubting me, this shit, man. Stop, please, please. <laughs>